Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is May 9th, 2016, and today's Monday morning. So looking at the economic calendar today, we have all-day euro groups coming about, so that should affect the price of the euro. So let's look at the graphs. That's about the extent of the market's economic calendar today, but let's look at what happened. We had this tremendous surge, 250 to 300 pip move yes, uh, last week excuse me, uh, and now we're retracing to this 114 level. I'd like to see us holding this level um, as an anticipation of uh, support. We had previous resistance to this multiple, multiple, multiple times, and this is actually the first time we actually uh, closed above with a bar. As you can see, we were on this a little bit, but a correction came right afterwards, and this is coming on the back of that. So. Um, the U.S. showing some positive news on the NFP. Still, the markets are not taking off. We're close to our all-time highs in the markets uh, in the Dow Jones, but we're not uh, breaking higher. Um, so as you can see, we're right there at the threshold. So this should be very interesting how this uh, really transpires this week and how it unfolds. So I keep an eye on the EURUSD looking at the gold this week, gold retracing from 1296 to 1280, 1279 right now. Um, we'd like to see this retrace itself back to 1246 for us to pick it up on the long side. It doesn't show that it's giving up. We've ha we had this wedge formation before, and then we broke out of the wedge, and now we're just we're selling off a little bit. I mean, I would say that 1268 is a bigger uh, support level, a closer support level. Uh, than 1246, but I would like to see it go back down to 1246 to pick it up. I'm just looking at it as long term. I don't think that it will. I think we're going to continue going higher. Uh, we may find a new trading range uh, between 1286 and 1300 to trade between until we do break higher. But uh, for right now, uh, we're retracing back there. Looking at the Dow Jones, Dow Jones corrected itself last Friday uh, with a big rally. After the NFP, up almost 200 points for the Dow. We're trading right now at 17,700-ish level. Uh, let's see if we do follow through on this and we do rally uh, to back to 18,000. That should be very interesting to see. If we do get that momentum, we'll be heading up higher. Looking at the Aussie USD, big retracement on the Aussie USD. We're back down to 76, uh, 73 excuse me, from 0.78. Uh, that's a big retracement. I'd like to see, again, go back to 0.72, perhaps pick it up around there. We're almost at support level, previous resistance level, as you can see here, these two uh, peaks before. So this might be a good place to actually start looking at it to pick it up as we, we've we got a little bit of an up here uh, and how this unfolds this week. Uh, but, you know, the markets are still, you know, they're still rotating. Um, the dollar is getting a little bit weaker in the bigger picture. However, there is a little bit of a correction last week, and we should see how far that correction actually goes. Looking at the GBP Japanese yen, GBP getting much stronger against the yen. As you can see here, we're trading at 155 from our low of 153. So again, this is trading in a range. Now the question is, is how far could it you know, trade between, we got this uh, 162 on the high side and 153 on the low side. We're closer to the lower end of that, but I would like to see some sort of rally in the GBP Japanese yen. Looking at oil, uh, big gap up this morning, $45.45, um, almost a buck uh, gapping up here. Uh, so this is actually kind of interesting how this is unfolding as well. We had a big rally from 28 to 46-ish level, and now we're just trading in uh, a range, and that's very uh, characteristic of the oil. Um, it does usually trade within a range. Let's see if it maintains this momentum. Maybe it will sell off uh, as we, you know, head into the summer. Uh, we use uh, oil much less in the summer. It's not used for heating, so on and so forth. It's used for traveling mostly. Uh, so it is compensated in somewhat in its uh, in its consumption side. Uh, but let's see if, you know, if OPEC continues at its pace uh, and curtailing the advance of oil. It means a, things are a lot cheaper, okay? When you're transporting food, when you're transporting people, um, and when things cost less, you have a, a situation where you're sort of, sort of in a deflation. 
so this is really pivotal uh, right now as to what's going on in the markets. And it's helping in a certain sense because, you know, goods are cheaper and, you know, taking vacations is cheaper because uh, airfare traveling costs are much less because they're based on oil, based on gas consumption. So, you know, so on one side, you know, it could actually spur the market um, because of the cheap oil and that's what it's doing. Uh, but on the other side, it could hurt us in terms of deflation uh, worry. So it's something to keep an eye on to see how this actually unfolds during the week. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.